Hello, 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 everybody. Chris here. I hope everybody is well today. So I have an unboxing for you today uh, from DIY Choose. I have one canvas, which it's not a special drill, and I have two projects. But before I get to that, let's do the maintenance part. First, of course, I should welcome you. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to all my new viewers. I hope you enjoy it here. If this is your first time, I would hope you please do the YouTube things like, like, subscribe, share, comment. I would truly appreciate it. It helps me out so much. Um, and to my returning friends and my true blues out there, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. Um, as I said, this is from DIY Choose, and I will have all three items linked below in the description box, as well as my code for uniquely yours down under, because you get to save 10% when you order anytime. So who doesn't like to save 10% on iron paintings, right? Uh, my Instagram uh, link is below as well. So if you'd like to come and follow me on Instagram, see what's going on. And my Facebook group with my friend Angie. It's a cute little Facebook group, no drama. You know, share your share your thoughts, share, share your projects and all that. And um, we truly appreciate it. Just answer the questions to be approved. And um, one last thing. Uh, you probably will be seeing this before August, hopefully. And for those of you not do not know, August I will be co-hosting a an event, an adult event called hashtag Rude Crude and Nude. Please check out um, my and my announcement video as well as the videos from my co-host Miranda from uh, Time Hitting with the Besties and Maritza from Kiss My Crafts. Um, and we even if I hope you have a canvas, you can join us. And even if you don't, I hope you still follow it and uh, have some fun with us. Okay, with all that said, hopefully I didn't forget anything that I was supposed to tell you. Let's get to the business itself, the canvases, or the items I should say, because I just have this one canvas. So first, let's look at the drills and the pretty colors. I'm not gonna take these out, they're round, so there's no special things in here. Um, but as you can see, our color palette, we have some creams, um, some, a little brown, a little, you know, um, flesh tones, pink, some green, again, more creams, some browns here, grays, dark purples, corals, pink, yellow. So, and they come individually bagged here. Um, now this one I'm looking at real quick. I don't have, or there are, there is no item number on here anywhere. So I will have to write the item number on here. Or if you get it, you'll have to write it on here as well. Um, just so you, if you store this separately, you won't put these somewhere and be like, what does this go to? I have no idea. So um, you have to do it with this one to put your item number on here. Just a tip, better safe than sorry. And one last thing, I just received these today. Usually I let my canvases sit and relax for a few days under something heavy, especially if there's some wrinkles. Um, and believe me, I don't have any special delivery uh, methods because people ask me how I get them so straight every so often or so flat. I don't have any special tricks. I just do what everybody else does. I take them out, I flatten them, then I release the cover, flatten the cover, make sure it's as the cover is flat as possible, and I put them under something heavy. Usually I have a, on top of my washing machine in the laundry room, I have a, to the tub where I keep all the, you know, the softeners and the, the dryer sheets and the laundry soap and all that. I have a tub and I usually stick them under the tub so it flattens everything out um, until I'm ready to film. And usually that's a few days because I, uh, you know, I'm kind of lazy that way. So I usually give it a few days and while I'm then when it's ready, I, or when I'm ready to film, I take them out and they're beautiful flat. Right now it's not because as you can see the crease here and I, like I said, because I just got them today. All right. I know I'm babbling, babbling, babbling. But just in case you didn't know or you want to know my methods or what was going on, that's what it is. So, okay, so this one is a 40 by 50 and it has 20 colors. Are we ready to see it? Here we go. Voila. So well, let's first look at the top. We have our size, our item number, and our thumbnail. We, and who do we have? Oh, our Legends of Miss Baltimore Crab here. All letters, as we can see. And you can see the color palette, pinks, purples, 
and creams mostly, some browns. Okay, and you can see the drill field looking at it again. No problem for me. I don't know what it's like for you. I always use a light pad. Same old, same old. Um, it's better for your eyes. So what do we have? If you, Just in case, let me take this out. We have, she goes by many names. This just happens to be from my favorite fairy tale or, or you know, the fairy tale from the home of the mouse, if you will. Um, they call her Aurora or they call her Briar Rose or you, they call her the beauty that sleeps. <laughs> so we have our background here. It looks like some whites and some creams and for some reason our color keeps shifting. I don't know if you're seeing it that way, but I keep seeing color shifts. I don't know. So then we have her in her cloak. Obviously before, you know, she touched the spindle um, when she's out in the woods with her beautiful purple or pinkish cloak and her, her pretty dress. She has two birds that she's singing with on her hand. Brocade, her beautiful golden flaxen hair, all the way down to here, and her beautiful dress. So I loved it, loved it, loved it. Look how beautiful this is going to look when it's done. I probably would have went like one size up. I probably would have liked it a 50 by 70, but you know what? What can you do? 40 by 50 is not that bad, and it looks like it's going to turn out lovely. Oh, I just love it this story, my favorite, favorite story. And as somebody pointed out, it's kind of funny it's what it's called, yet she's kind of not even the main character. The main character is really Maleficent. And honestly, the three uh, fairies. Uh, of course, I can't remember their name. Flora, oh, Flora, Fauna, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. She is a, basically a secondary character in her own story. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that chatter. Let's get a little close before we go on to the other things because they might take a little longer and I've already been babbling on for long enough. So we can see a drill field, the beautiful old canvas. There we have it. Okay. And they have other ones in other characters. As an FYI, in case you're interested. So, now, what do we have here? I have two more items for you. I have this one, it comes in this box. Now, let me see if I can lift this up a little bit so it's a little easier for you to see. Maybe that might help. Okay. I have not taken these out, so I haven't seen any, either of these items. It'll be a first. Came in this box. Okay, get rid of that. And what is it, you ask? It is a tin. So we have the tin here. We have the. This is the diamond painting part. You have the white sheet over it as well as. The white sheet around here, um, and let me just show this part. This is the bottom of the tin, um, and we have inside. And here are our drills. Um, let me first show you the round part. Uh, I do see it on here, so you'll see what it is. But this is a less fun part, so what we do. Sorry for this again. I, I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning. Um, this bad camera work. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder why it's sticky that way. I thought you were supposed to drill around there. And we have our... I don't know. They might have made a mistake on this. Um, oh, maybe it's freestyle. So it's just sticky. There's no, there's no uh, 
what do you call, as you could see, there's no, I don't know, guide circles, if you want to call them them. No, no uh, drill field. That's interesting. And it is sticky, so you, I'm going to have to, this is going to be interesting again. I, I, I'll have to look on the website. Is it supposed to be freestyle like that? See, it's sticky. And it's meant that way, so... Um, and we did see in the front, it said Hello Kitty, that little thing. Anyways, let's move on to the top of it. Uh, again, I don't know. Let's, is this going to have it? Sorry. Okay. You don't need to see a gigantic close-up of my hand, I suppose, right? This is the same. Wow. I'm kind of confused. Yes, the whole thing is just sticky all over. So this is our top of a chin, Hello Kitty. And so, of course, it goes like that. We have it closed, and we have our diamonds in here. Let's see what we have. So we have these medium size, these larger size, pink, some black, some white, pink, regular size, yellow, blacks, clears, and whites. This, I'm not sure what this is for. to look at the website I don't know and when they give you a little tray and wax on a pen so this was interesting again I'm going to have to check the site see what's happening with this I don't know if there was a mistake made again if this this is meant to be freestyle do however you want to do um, normally I in my mind I don't mind it doing a freestyle thing however I'm afraid I'll run out of drills if I do it that way because you know where I want to put them. Um, I'm actually going to, let me show you. I have my, oh no, I don't have it here, I'm sorry. I was going to show you the picture of it from the website, but I don't have it with me. Um, sorry about that, guys. So, we'll have to, I'll have to look into that. And so, moving on to this one, I have another box. This is a new one. I'm really excited about this one, too. And here it is. It comes in this box right here. Um, it's a heavy one. I believe it's probably made of wood. So we have our kit, our drills, and here's our box. Yes, it's made out of this wood or wood product. It feels substantial, so it doesn't seem like it's cheap at all. Here's the top. This is the top part. This is the bottom part. So you don't diamond paint the bottom, but you do diamond paint the sides. So you're going to stick these in here to make the box. I'm not going to put it together now, but that's basically how it goes. And then you have the top here lid, and it just comes this off like that. It's a little icky over there, but that's all right. I don't care about that. But this is going to be really pretty. Again, this is what it's going to look like. They have four of these available I know, right now. I don't know by the time you see this if they have more. Um, I have another one on the way from somebody really like these this is really nice and again once it's together uh i'm assuming it's going to be fit well together it, again this this material is substantial it's not junky material so it all will ha depend on how these pieces fit together into the bottom um whether how loose and um 
you know, how loose or well they fit together. Um, you'll find that out in another time. Uh, this is too much for me to do uh, right now, so I can't show you either of these finished, and I'm not going to get to Briar Rose either. Um, I would have possibly attempted or done the Hello Kitty tin, but with the questions I have that and possibly having to freestyle it, that is going to take a while, so I won't have time to do that right now. Um, but let's just, before we go, look at the diamonds that come with this. So we have clear, and beautiful bright blue, bright yellow, fire orange, beautiful candy apple red, Pretty, pretty purple marquise, clear iridescent marquise, faceted, these beautiful half pearl yellows, and we also have uh, some aqua teardrops faceted, we have uh, marquise fuchsia faceted, and finally we have these like snowflakey type rounds, iridescence. So, recap, we get Briar Rose. I'll just put you up, put it up over there for easier access for you. We have her, we have our Hello Kitty questioning <laughs> tin. The tin is nice and uh, nice size and everything. I just have to figure that stuff out. And this box, which pre, pre, assembled i'm really loving this again i'll let you know post assembly how it is um and so that's all i have for you today again diy twos thanks so much uh thank you all dear viewers for watching for coming to today to watch for your continued support and again to any new people welcome 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 i hope you enjoy it um and stay with me and everybody, until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Okay? Bye, guys. Okay, everybody. So, I went to the website. As you can see, here it is. DIY Choose Painting Storage Box Cartoon Kitty Craft Jewelry Organizer. So, it tells you about it. Okay. So, here is the painting. Here's what it looks like. So, again, it's not surprised. Again, if it's a freestyle type thing, it's not hard to really differentiate how things go. Obviously... The pink ones go on the bottom. The They have some clear ones, large ones and smaller ones on top. The white ones in the face, the black for the eyes, the yellow for the nose, and pink ones on the bow up there. Um, I would suggest if you get this, here you can see this, um, You they don't show you a picture of what it looks like without it being drilled. Um, but as you can see, the different sizes in there. So what I'm going to do is I suggest if you want this and you, if you're skittish about doing um, the freestyle, you could easily do it like a puzzle. Just put this picture up when you're doing it and you could see where things go. Again, like I said, the larger rhinestones clearly go as an outline. Then you have a couple of the s smaller ones go like in by right there. Um, and again, the the clear ones go around the nose and you have the yellow ones in the nose and you know they get in the black ones different sizes you can choose whatever you'd like again same thing with the bow and everything so it's it's fairly oh speaking of that when i want that one in the back they don't sell that though that large cat the large i want that too <laughs> um you know again so just use this as a guide they don't show you um, it, what it looks like undrilled. So, and there's nothing in the description um, below that talks about it. So, it is what it is. It's still super cute. Um, this doesn't discourage me or dissuade me. Um, you know, my definitely what I would do. I'm going to do the most important part is the top. So the pink will be used in the bow first, just in case I smash. I there should be enough drills. Really, they never really short you on this stuff. For the most part but i'm going to definitely do the face first and make sure i have enough of those pink drills before i start doing there down here i mean i have leftovers anyways but in case you don't i would suggest doing the 
the bow first just in case you might run out and that way if you run out you might just run out and leave the back to of the jewelry box or the box storage box whatever you want to call it to last um just in case of that so and again freestyle can be fun you know again you put the big ones anywhere the small ones anywhere you know you could just put all the big ones places and then fill in with the smaller mediums you know, do what you want uh, listen it's part of crafting um generally in diamond painting for the most part it's explained to us exactly what you do by put the bead where the symbol is you know yeah we some of us judge our paintings up but this is something that can totally be your own basically really um so try it out all right enough of me rambling and talking again so um i really like this it's cute i hope you like it too and give it a shot it's you know why not right it's like those little violent what they call the violent bears you know they don't give you round circles on that one either uh, a guide you know you just have to put the drills wherever you want on that too so all right enough i'm going i hope you have a great day everybody mystery solved it's probably supposed to be like this nice to know <laughs> okay guys till next time see ya bye <laughs>